Welcome back to another episode of this podcast. Before we get started, I would greatly appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So today, we're doing something a little bit different than what we've already done in the past. I want to cover a, lo a local issue happening in my town. And I believe this is something that should be important to discuss because it not only has certain repercussions for this particular town where I am, but the fact that it is a small town and the, and since we have to fight this here of all places should be a warning sign to anyone else who lives in a conservative state or a small town anywhere that you might think you're safe from these things, but in reality you're not because this is happening everywhere. So tomorrow this town is having a you know city commission meeting, which is nothing out of the ordinary. They have those all the time. This time is a little bit different and is getting a lot more attention because the first uh, issue that's going to be coming up is it so what happened is uh a, someone here went to a local library and noticed in the children's section there was some trans book for children whatever that was just there for anyone to to grab and read and this person the citizen brought it to the attention of the city commission who are with them uh, they agree on this sentiment and so they've decided that they're going to you know see what they can do about the situation tomorrow so the library is it's part of a regional group of libraries so there aren't many of them it's just a small thing one of them happens to be here in this town and the thing about that is they actually have some taxpayer money being funded to them so you know as a taxpayer in this town and many other people as well we should have a say in this th situation and additionally the building that they rent from is also owned by the town so again it's another um, connection there where the town clearly should have a lot of say in what they do now <clears throat> after it was brought up to them they refused to remove the book but you know they try to extended olive branch i guess you could say they told us all right we're not going to remove the book because we think it's really popular and we just go by that standard blah 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 sure um they said but we will have parents if you'd like sign a document and so anytime your children come into this library they can specify that the child can't purchase that book. So yeah, that's their uh, way of saying, all right, we'll make a, we'll meet you halfway. Right. Now, if we can't, if the city commission can't com convince them to remove the book completely, they will attempt, the commission, the city commission will try to open another library here run by them, which will not stand for any of this garbage that's being shoved down our kids' throats. So this, this would happen if the library does not decide to remove the book. Now, small, a small minority here is getting worked up over it. They think the commission, the city commission wants to shut down the library completely. If they don't decide to get rid of it, that's not what they're trying to do. What they are saying is 
if you don't remove this garbage, which most people here would agree with that sentiment, we are going to open some another library here that all those people can go to and you people can suffer the consequence, suffer the decision you made in keeping that degeneracy in your establishment. So they're not directly shutting down the library. They're just saying, if you guys really believe that this book is so popular and it's going to work out great for you, all right, here's some competition. Let's see if you guys can survive. Now, I'm sure that's not the, maybe that is part of the sentiment, but I'm sure the sentiment is, okay, we are trying to represent the majority, of our, cons our vast majority of the constituents here who prefer not to have that in the library that they're, sh you know, shopping at. So that's pretty much the situation there. <clears throat> in my personal opinion, the leader, this library, the people in leadership positions there, they've already lost my trust. I will not be going there anymore to look at their books, to use their printers or computers, whatever, because they clearly are behind this stuff 100%. They believe that our children should be exposed to this garbage, this degeneracy, this immoral, unnatural filth that is running rampant around our decaying country. So I don't care even if they decide, even if they were, you know, even if they were pressured to get rid of this book, I still would not give them any of my business because they clearly needed to be pushed into that decision. So unless there was some new leadership in that library, I don't think, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way about this as I do, I'm not going back to that into that library anymore and i will admit i already felt very suspect about this library anyway because i remember back during the days where everybody had to mask up etc even this wasn't that long ago so it's not like it was during the craziest time of that this was later on and most everywhere else around here especially in this town you don't have to didn't have to wear a mask at all anywhere except this library this one library out of this whole area still mandated a mask there and on top of that they were watching you to make sure you kept it over your nose i mean that's you know next level they don't just think, uh, you know, we'll just go along with this so we don't get in trouble. They firmly believe in the mask mandates here with everyone else around them, not even considering it. So I already didn't trust these guys to begin with. This has just fortified that belief. Now, the reason why I think this is important to mention not just for the people here, but for anyone else who may live in a small town or live in a very red state, is that if it's happening here, it's happening where you are right now too. <clears throat> if, if we have to fight it here, chances are if you do a little bit of digging in your local library or wherever else that you think can't possibly have this kind of garbage in their, you know, building or whatever. Chances are they do. These guys are everywhere now and you're not safe anywhere. We have to fight this regardless if you're in a very conservative town or you're in a deep blue liberal city. It's not just the cities anymore. It's everywhere. And so this should be a wake up call. It certainly was to me, but it should be a wake up call to anyone else who thinks th th this can't possibly be happening where they are. 
because it is. So that should do it. Just wanted to mention that this is something that is happening right now. And if you're listening, you're from, you should know, you know, where I am. If you know me, you know that now this is happening tomorrow night. And if you're not from here, just know, keep your eyes open where you are and bring it to the attention of the city commission and pressure them to do something about it because this cannot be happening in our country. This is ruining it as we speak. It is deeply immoral, degenerate, disgusting, and something needs to be done about it. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.